For years, Uchomi supermarkets have suffered under debt, leading it to negotiate comfortable payments with its suppliers. More recently, Nakuma supermarket has found itself in a similar space, its debt to suppliers running into tens of billions of Kenya shillings. But this relationship between retailers and suppliers has always been characterized by call-outs of issuance of bounced checks, rejected goods, among a litany of bad business practices. Most of our supermarket, those who are driving it, do not honor verbal or written agreement. We have to ensure that they are honored, not just to come back and say, I'm sorry, I cannot pay you, or start avoiding somebody. The supermarkets are not, they're not the devils in the room. We are actually the business enablers. But now the government is stepping in to mediate and bring in codes of practice to boost the country's retail sector. Kenya is now becoming a middle-income country. We can't afford to be like this. We have to do the right thing. With the sector's performance having fallen to 5% in the last one year from a previous 7.9%, the government says these regulations were born out of necessity by stakeholders. It is the stakeholders who came and asked us to do something about it because self-regulation was not functional. Come next parliament, this will be a priority. It will be a priority regulatory um, initiative that we must do. The code of practice will include the retailer's memorandum on prompt payment, which among other things calls for immediate settlement of supplies and no obligation to contribute to marketing costs by suppliers to retail chains. Once that code is signed, then we shall all have one platform to reach to draw, to draw our joint business plans and our supply contract form. Out of this, we can now develop our county-based regulations that do not conflict with the national guidelines. Mombi Warowe, the big question.